With many economists predicting a 4.5% jump in food prices due to inflation in 2008, compared with just 2.5% in past years, many in and around Boston are working hard to feed their families while trying to keep costs low. With that in mind, here's BNN's city living correspondent, Sasha Goldberg, with some money-saving ideas to share with us. Hello, JR. Hello, audience. When I originally pitched my idea for the segment, some people on the editorial staff thought it was strange that I would have tips for families, suggesting that just because I live alone in my one-bedroom apartment, I didn't have ideas to share. They were wrong. Dead wrong. <laughs> no one knows more about surviving on the bare necessities than me, as they make it a rule to only leave my apartment twice a month, and then only for 42 minutes at a time. <laughs> No hard feelings, let's get started. <laughs> uh, Sasha, what is that? Well, since we're both reading from a teleprompter, JR, the that you're referring to must be the rhetorical question you just asked. <laughs> um, I, I meant the tray. It's a tray. <laughs> And on it, I've got a few yummy dishes I whipped up in my apartment, utilizing ingredients that will help chefs at home save a little money. Like my first dish. Care to try, JR? Um, sure. Um, it's some kind of uh, party mix, right? Correct. You don't have to buy pre-made stack mixes to entertain guests. Just add some breadcrumbs and oregano to whatever dry ingredients you may have in your apartment. I know my cats just loved this. Oh, uh, is, it, is this cat food? No, no, of course not. It's definitely not cat food. Oh. <laughs> and what do we have here? Lunch, anyone? No, uh, I'm saying I'm going to pass on that one, Sasha. Thank I you. made it just for you, JR. Just, just the way you like it. I know you like it. <laughs> Rasha, there's nothing in this. That's because it's an imagination sandwich. <laughs> Everyone can afford dreams, can't they? <laughs> Who needs to worry about the high cost cold cuts? when they can close their eyes and imagine a delicious sandwich filled with whatever their hearts may desire. <laughs> Tastes like a world free of judgment and assumption. <laughs> um, Sasha, do you have anything else? Just dessert. Oh. Are these chocolate-colored covered marshmallows? That seems kind of innocuous. All right. Yes, they are. With this recipe, they're both affordable and filling. Is it? Fan? <laughs> yep. Revere Beach's finest. <laughs> you get the flavor of the marshmallow and the appetite curving properties of wet sand. <laughs> yep, that's sand. Yeah. Revere Beach. It's rather convenient to my apartment. <laughs> oh. All right. I think that's just about. Uh, well, enough. but I have one more. You know, I wanted to tell the audience about this last dish. It's something gross. Yes. It's it's a a dish of bugs and crickets. Yep. You brought a dish of mealworms and cr that's that's yep. fucking gross. And that's are you here to embarrass me? Or do you want to make me look like a fool? Is that it? Your funny little games, your passive aggressive games. I'll eat it. Bye. No, oh, it's delicious. It's like my mom used to make it. It's delicious. I love it. I love it. Look, I see its eyes. Delicious. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that, that wasn't for people. I, I was merely going to show an alternative and affordable source of food for snakes. 